Hello, I'm just back from going to see Hannah Gadsby's new show, Douglas. Because, A, I think she's great. And B, I mean, if you want to be a fantastic comedian, you should probably see the person who's the best. And I think at the moment, she is the best. Like, the success of Nanette was... That's the most successful sort of British solo show of the last, God knows how long, years and years and years, you know. Uh, not British, I, sh I should say. I mean, like, I know she's Australian, but what I mean by that is, like, in terms of a show that uh, played the Edinburgh Festival and, you know, would have been known to, uh, an act known on sort of, you know, to the British circuit, even if that's through the festival, like she was known on these shores and, you know, did Edinburgh, did all that stuff. And now she's huge. And I think, um, basically the basic point, I've said it in a very rambly way, but as, as you know, I don't think there's a more successful show that's come off the back of an Edinburgh run than Lynette. I think she timed it amazingly that, like, I always forget that she actually performed in it about like two months before the Harvey Weinstein shit all came out. Um, so also probably before the Louis C.K. stuff, but it was per like for this time in history, it was it was perfect. If she'd done that show five years ago, it would have still done very well because it's an excellent show. But I don't think it would have hit as hard as it did just because the timing was all right and um, it fit the mood. It kind of is a wonderful screenshot of a place in time for um, you know. Uh, I guess women in the media in general, but also queer people in the media. And um, yeah, just, just, yeah, really good. And Douglas was also amazing. She's, she's just damn funny. I think people forget that. People always focus on, uh, I guess, rightly on the, you know, the, the hard hitting nature of Nanette, but she's just a really proper funny comedian. She's really, really good you know, excellent, excellent writer, like a really unique brain, which she talks about in, in depth a bit in this show, about why she thinks that might be, but um, yeah, extraordinarily good. If you can see Douglas, it's expensive though, um, you know, I'm very, very lucky that I have a very generous girlfriend who paid for my ticket, otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford it, <laughs> because it's it's probably the most expensive stand-up ticket I've bought. It was well, I've 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 used, I guess, because my Livy bought it. But it was about thirty-five quid. But then she sold out, you know, probably a two thousand seater of thirty-five quid tickets, like a big venue. Um, and it worked. I think comedy. Uh, if you're just doing the show, if you're doing the show that has kind of a you know very much a solo show, theatrical elements, I think that can work in a big venue. Whereas if you're doing club stuff, club e-solve stuff, I think that doesn't work. You need more of an intimate thing. But I think this worked in that venue. It really did. And yeah, she was great. So if you can catch Douglas, do it. That's what I've done today. Um, day, what are we on? I'm going to check quickly. Day 27. So wow, we're almost running out of time. But I've enjoyed, I say it every day, I'm, I'm quite enjoying just chatting. <laughs> Even if it's just for me, I'm, I'm enjoying it. But um, yeah. So, um, what have you seen recently? Have you been to see anything? <laughs> I always feel like I should ask you guys more things. So, yeah, have you? Have you been to see any? Because I've seen quite a lot recently. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out there. <laughs> I say, as I'm going to upload a vlog, that'll probably get, you know, 10 views. I'm like, there's a lot of good art out there. Here, here's my effort. It's just me chatting in my bedroom with a blooming fan in the background. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, take care, guys.